what's up everybody welcome back to the channel this is the lvme my name is jared and this is another one of our smoking reaction series we got the homie tom mcdonald back with a brand new video today i have got some gg number four in this hand rolled here uh no crutch on the end either got the old school folded in tip that's right no pre-rolls today you know, I'm, I get so used to buying pre-rolls. I was actually kind of surprised I could still roll this decently. It's been um, it's been a hot minute since I've hand-rolled a joint. But uh, I got the Gorilla Glue. We got Tom McDonald. Now, from what, uh, from what I've heard, Tom says you need to have your big boy and your big girl panties on uh, to watch this video. It is called A People So Stupid. And he's got his black eyes in already, as I can see right there. So it's been a minute since Tom has released any kind of video that was kind of controversial. He's, he's been doing a lot of uh, kind of a lot of shit talking. Let's see. He's had what? I don't care. No response. I don't drink. I can't sleep. Nothing too like political or calling people out for their actions, which he's done a lot of in the past. So I'm guessing that this video is going to have a lot to do with what's going on right now and clearly the way people are acting. So if you got something good to puff on legally, YouTube, legal, YouTube, this is legal, um, you should fire that up too. I'm going to go ahead and get this thing going here. And we're about to see. Mm-hmm. All right. I got these weird papers. Check these out. I picked these up at like, uh, it was a, uh, some kind of expo here, like a year and a half ago. And I hadn't been using them too much because honestly, I've been buying the cones and the, the pre-rolls so much. The cones here lately. But, uh. Last time I bought cones, I bought the, the king size ones. And, dude, they were terrible, man. They just ran all over the place. Like, this is kind of running a little bit, too. Man, not too bad, though. Not too shabby. All right. Let's get the headphones on, everybody. Let's see what the homie Tom McDonald has to say. Let's see what him and Nova and uh, the homie Evan have mixed up here for us. Let me switch over to here. Uh, this has got about 400,000 views in eight hours, so a little bit uh, less, 58,000 likes and only 656 dislikes. So, damn, look at Tom, 1.04 million subscribers, man. When I first started watching this dude, I remember he had 727,000 subs, and I think that was the beginning of this year, the end of last year, right in there. So, dude is blowing up. <laughs> all right tom let's see what is up tom mcdonald people so stupid let's fire it up hi i'm praying that the world changes soon can't get a doobie on a plane but there's uzis in our schools every dude who touched a boob or a booty getting me too what you expect can't get a doobie on a plane but there's uzis in our schools ain't that the truth you know, I hate to talk politics, but I'm going to interject this real quick. You know, Kamala Harris has put more pot smokers in jail, I think, than any, like, presidential candidate in history. Look it up. Progressive my ass. All right. Back from the kids who went to Hooters after school. We're all trying, but there's Uzis in our schools. Every dude who touched a boob or a booty getting me too. What you expect from the kids who went to Hooters after school? We're all triggered and defensive. We're all racist and we're sexist. We all grew up watching South Park. How are we offended? Now being fat is beautiful. Name it. <laughs> Dude was on the cross saying we all grew up watching South Park. How are we offended? <laughs> Dude, I'm not offended by anything. I swear to God. No matter what Tom does in this video, I will not be offended. No matter what Donald Trump does or Joe Biden or Kamala Harris's ass, I will not be offended. I don't take umbrage with people who speak their minds. I may not like it, but I ain't going to get butt hurt about it. 
But that's pretty funny, man. He was up on the cross like Jesus. I bet some people are uh, a little upset there. But that's true, man. How are we so offended when we grew up on South Park? I don't know. People play the victim card too much these days. People get too upset about too many things. Like, there was something going on Twitter the other day. Something about some radio talk show host called Kamala Harris a hoe or something. And Twitter's having a meltdown. I'm like, dude, I remember when Sarah, pa Sarah Palin was, was the presidential VP or whatever. Oh, my God, man. She got called every name in the book. I didn't hear nobody melting down. I grew up watching South Park. How are we offended? Now, being fat is beautiful. Name a thing that you can't do. Jumping jacks, run a mile, live past 42. Man, it oh. used to be cool to just flip a bird to the system. And now it's trendy to be triggered and pretend you're a victim. It's my race. It's my weight. It's because... Yes, it used to be cool to flip a finger to the system. Now it's cool to pretend to be a victim or however he said it. Man, yes. Yes. What happened to the punk rock attitude? To people saying, fuck you to the system. Fuck you. Where did that go? Where is rock and roll attitude today? This dude has it on the screen. Not too many others, man. Because I'm a Christian, I hate the internet and anyone who has an opinion. And everybody angry if you say white. Okay, fine. Pass me the brush and I'll paint my face to the shades right. Let's talk about oh, oh, abortion. Oh. Sorry, tell me how this oh, works. Bacteria. Oh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> <coughs> he said everybody offended if you say white give me the paintbrush i'll paint my skin till the right shade <laughs> oh my god that was awesome oh my goodness oh my goodness i can tell folks this is a song i'm gonna be listening to a lot already we're 40 seconds in and i'm stopped it 40 times right all right all right let me run it back just a little bit more Social ch multiple complaints of a garbage fire in the alley. Ha! The brush and I'll paint my face to the shades right. Let's talk about abortion. Sorry, tell me how this works. Bacteria is life on Mars, but a heartbeat isn't life on Earth. Weird. So stupid. Why are so stupid? Get better problems. I swear to God that y'all want them. Y'all so dumb. People so stupid. People so dumb. People so boohoo. I'm a hater because I can't relate to gay pride. Call me homophobic because I don't want to date guys. K tight. I, for one, I'm not surprised the world declined along the way. Give trophies to children for losing just because they decide to play. We exercise our right to vote and hate the politicians. Hey, this is a democracy. It's partly your decision. Hey, this is weird. Feels like this a different year. If I identify as a female, then when my balls and penis disappear, children want a gender switch and hating men is feminist. Depression and anxiety are trendy. We're too sensitive and. Well, well, well. I think clearly what I was thinking earlier was was right on. This is gonna be another one of those like political statement songs, so to speak. Although he's not really voicing a political side here, as in left or right. But um, is he wrong? Is he wrong here? My goodness, Tom McDonald letting it all hang out here. I gotta run it back. He's saying so much. I'm just like, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Here, children want a gender switch and hating men is feminist. Depression and anxiety are trendy. We're too sensitive. Invented 80 genders. Mad the world is not accepting it. Then gave them more attention than normal women and men can get. What a contradiction. Being human is so tragic. Focus on minorities, ignoring all the masses. Hallelujah, everyone. Activism saved the planet. No more plastic straws and paper. Just paper straws wrapped in plastic. <laughs> That was one of the most idiotic things that we went through as a nation in the past couple years was that damn straw nonsense, folks. I am telling you, if you're the type of person who went out there and got all butt hurt because you went to a restaurant and the server brought you a drink with a straw in it, folks, if you don't know already, you not using a straw in America does no good to nothing anywhere. Us stopping use of all straws in America does no good to anything anywhere because 99.9% .9 of the plastic in the ocean comes from 10 rivers in the world, none of which are here. None. It was all bullshit. Bullshit. They just amp up your feelings, get rid of the logic, 
and then suddenly we've got something else for everybody to be mad about. God, that one used to annoy me. I got friends that are servers in restaurants that would be like people would give them shit for bringing a drink out with a straw and like they're doing their job and we're in the desert. Like you, you think that your straw is going to wind up in the ocean in some whale's blowhole from United States of America. It doesn't happen. It's just facts. But people don't like facts. Congratulations. So and activism saved the planet. No more plastic straws and paper. Just paper straws wrapped in plastic. Congratulations. <laughs> so Why are so Get better problems. I swear to God that y'all want them. Y'all so dumb. Look, I get it. It's like the world is going crazy. Seems like a school shooting happens almost daily. The racism, rape culture, hatred that we're facing is way too ingrained for our hashtags to change it. We've become so lazy and complacent, afraid of our generation. Did you hear that? He listed off all those problems and he said they're way too ingrained for our hashtags to change it. That's word right there. That is, I like that that we're facing is way too ingrained for our hashtags to change it we've become so lazy and complacent afraid of our generation we think activism's instagramming memes and complaining it's a problem when there's actually we think activism is instagramming memes and complaining yes part of the problem of putting out you know of, of platforms like twitter and facebook is that I mean, the good thing is they give everybody a voice, and the bad thing is they give everybody a voice. Not everybody wants to hear what you have to say, and you're, you're not changing the world with your, with your stupid little meme. The actions you could be taking, but you're triggered, so you just cry like a baby. Hold on, let me run that back. It's actions. That's just what I was going to say. It's, it's actions that change things, not memes, not, not, not crying about your victim status. world's gone upside down. Tom was one of the few musicians got the balls to put this stuff out, man. He's one of the, uh, I mean, that's why he's independent, because he has things like this that he wants to say. If you don't like it, you don't like it. But you know what? This is the type of music, like, even if you think that Tom is wrong in every little thing he's talking about, he's making you think right like how rare is it these days that you can hear a musician that makes you think about something like objectively from both sides because if you don't agree with what he's saying you're forced to at least hear his side of it you know what i mean like when i was growing up conversation was encouraged like just because someone thought differently from you you weren't supposed to hate them and think that they were like wrong as a human being not wrong in their opinion but wrong as a human being that's all that shit is today if you don't agree with one certain particular party which seems to be the far left and as near as i can tell then like you're just wrong as a person you're like you demonized as a human being it's crazy and you can't have conversations anymore it's either it's kind of like when I was, like in the 90s, the, the ultra-religious people were just like, oh, you think like us or you're, you're wrong and you're evil. Dude, that's the way it is today only. Now it's the other side that's acting like that instead of the crazy right-wingers. So bizarre. But man, Tom's music makes you think and he says things. Like we could dissect this song for probably 45 minutes. You could practically stop this after every bar and have a little bit of a conversation, right? Hashtags to change it. We become so lazy and complacent, afraid of our generation. We think activism's Instagramming memes and complaining. It's a problem when there's actually actions you could be taking, but you're triggered, so you just cry like a baby. Let's see into that one. 
I love this kind of music from Tom. I, th I mean, I think the very first song of his I heard was I Hate Hip Hop. Because I, I first discovered Tom earlier this year, uh, like in January. Um, and then the next one was White Boy and then Politically Incorrect. And then I was just hooked. Like, because all... <laughs> Like, like those last two songs say a lot. Like, politically incorrect and white boy have a lot to say, and uh, man, and I, now here I am. Like, I've bought all his albums. Whatever, you should. I just, I just bought his new ones. I'm stoked. Um, I ordered them. I haven't got them yet. I don't think they're shipping yet. But the, his new one, gravestones and the mixtape, um, flowers for the dead. I think he said there's 35 songs on there. That's what I'm talking about, man. Like, I love, uh, I might have said this in other videos. I mean, I love guys like Calhoun and, uh, and Upchurch or two that come to mind. There are a lot of in, the independent artists that release a lot of music. But their album's got, like, ten three-minute songs. And they're great, but, like, they're over quick. Like, Tom's, too, have, like, 17 songs. And some of them, you know, f four minutes and more. So I'm stoked about that. Um, Tom had a lot to say on this. I like it a lot. I, I, I dig music like this. I don't agree with every little, you know, every little blurb that he had to say in that video, but I'm not looking to. Like, that seems to be this thing here in, in 2020, and, and, and I hope it doesn't con continue on beyond, where people seem to think that, like, you have to agree with every single little thing that someone says or it's no good. They're, they're no good, or you can't support them. Like, that's impossible. That is absolutely impossible. And if you think that you agree with every little thing that someone is saying, then you're probably not thinking for yourself, one thing. And you're just kidding yourself, man. You can't. It's, it's bullshit. So it's okay to... And, and the opposite is true, too. If you don't like someone, you don't have to continually dislike everything about them. Like, you may not like Donald Trump, but that doesn't mean that, like, every teeny tiny little thing he does as president is horrible. Like, like let's say you hate the guy. You're going to tell me, what, his prison reform bill is horrible? Like, come on, man, that ain't horrible. You're going to tell me, like, the, the I know he, he put a bunch of money towards black colleges. Like, that ain't horrible. Like, he's done all the horrible shit. What, maybe, whatever, I, I don't know. But my point being... You can't love everything someone does or hate everything someone does. And if you're applying that dynamic, especially to something like fucking music, dude, you're missing out on a lot. You're just missing out on a lot. And you're, you're keeping yourself boxed in this little window with blinders on. And you should just take them off. If you hear something you don't like, just go, meh. I didn't agree with that bit. But uh, I respect the fact that people like Tom put out their opinions. And... Uh, yeah, I like that song a whole lot. I'm surprised it only has 656 dislikes. But uh, maybe more and more people are, are hearing things like this and, and realizing the value in hearing an artist say these types of things because it sparks conversation. And I would love in the comments to hear what you all think about this song, whether you thought it was trash, whether you liked it, whether you hated things he said, if you like things he said. Tell me. I'd love to hear it. Um in the meantime, I'm going to fire up this little bad boy that went out on me here. And uh, I got a review video coming out uh, on this channel as well here in the next couple days. So I know it's been a while since I've had any cannabis-related uh, videos up. But, dude, things are weird here in Vegas with the cannabis scene, with the, with the uh, pandemic going on and everything. But I do have a strain review, review of GG number four, which I just puffed down uh, coming out here in the next couple days so stay tuned for that hit the subscribe button if you like what you saw keep smoking that good shit and i'll see you all on the next one all right peace